my name is Will Griffiths, and this is Steve with me here today. Steve's a good friend of mine that I've known for a long time, and I have not seen you in a while. How have you been? I've been really good, Will. Been really good. So tell me what you've been up to. Uh, just, you know, constantly working on the music, just keeping it moving. Okay, and what, what kind of music you've been working on? Um, been working on stuff with my band, uh, Ambrose, uh, still doing solo projects, got one in the works, just put one out a while back, and staying focused. All right, well, you know, we're going to start with my favorite one, which is that, the one that I, the basically, with that picture, yeah, with you laying by the pile of, uh, <laughs> the pile of poo. Yeah. There's, nothing, there's no other way to put it except yes. by the pile of poo. Okay, so tell us, we'll start there with your history. Uh, that was the first CD I put out through Dope Sandwich. It was called um, A Bunch of Crazy Shit. Is it, is it even an album? Is it just a mixtape? No, it's just a mixtape, man. Son of you know a me? bitch. I'm, I'm leaving. Like, boom, taking it back to 93. That's you, my hip hop was designed to be. Giving you the answer, so listen, eyes to see. So you can recognize it, pop at a high degree. People up in the crowd, like, finally, your rhyme, they combine, find to the fine to see. Your mind, if you time, the right line, time to sleep, the fine, the right signs to unite, commonly. And <laughs> it was just uh, a fun. bunch of crazy shit. Yeah, it was just a fun project of different things, some serious, some funny some party tracks, just a good uh, introduction of myself. Just. Well, you got a great voice because I got to hear you at my bar when Jim played the piano and you played, uh, oh, sang yeah. along, it sounded great. Oh, uh, that was a lot All right, of fun. So, you're, um, you're now working on another project. What do you have going on right now? Um, well, the new, newest project I got going on is called Seven, and that's through um, the new company that I'm working with called Drop Records. And it's, I'm really excited about the project because it's like a concept album. I literally just started recording it yeah. and it's going to be my first project that I'm doing like this. Well, so I'm and, looking and forward to it. Where are you from? So where you, um, where are you from? Because I mean, I know you, but I really don't know where you're from. You're from Savannah? Tell me where you're from. No, uh, originally I'm from New Jersey. I've been down here in Savannah almost 18 years. But uh, came down here for school. That didn't really work out, but loved the community of musicians and just built a family, so I just stayed. So that's why you stayed here, is because you really like the musicians in the state. Like, it's, I've never been around this many, not just extremely talented and driven musicians, but really, a, like, original, like, raw, not, trying to follow or copy anything like gotcha. people who are really trying to make their mark by being who they are and are willing like the musicians have fought for years around here i remember when most of the venues or venues didn't even have their own pa system but would yep. want a whole band to bring everything and still pay them almost what they're paying them now or even yep. less so I loved seeing the family attitude of the artists here. Well, that's what the show yeah. is about, see, because we're fighting to get everybody's music out there, and we're let, trying to let all the other musicians see who all the other musicians are, okay? Yeah, exactly. So that's that's what we that's what we try to do. Yeah. And you have a wife, you have family, your dad beats you, go ahead and dip soul story. <laughs> no wife, no kids. I do have a girlfriend that I love right Very now. Good. Um, besides that, um, I guess moved my mom down here a couple of years ago just yep. to get her out the cold. Like I was saying, tired of dealing with chickens who got the bird flu. Silly bitches chilling with kids who I've had they curfew. Spitting shit just to sit and listen and they worth to. We simple important time to hear them talk about the grind that they using. Really just amusing it seems. Instead of wanting to rock, they choosing to lean. And this new project that you're working on, where do you where are you recording this new project? Um, that's in-house. It's going to be partially me recording in different studios. Um, just getting everything done. I know uh, the Ambrose project that I'm working on with my band, it's gonna be recorded at New Coast Audio. But besides that, the project I'm working on now called Seven, I'm gonna do most of the recording myself. All right, now a lot of people may not know what kind of music you play, so you describe to them what it is you do. Um, I do, well, most people know me for hip hop. Um, I also play acoustic guitar, solo singer, sing with my band, rap, DJ, break dance, lots of other stuff. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, whatever it takes, huh? It's just all that's fun, everything that's fun. 
Well, good. And uh, so we always ask this of all the other musicians, so we're going to ask you too, okay? Gotcha. So when you get an idea, how, is it you get, how do you come up with your ideas for writing your songs? And how do you write your songs? Um, it really, it's really different depending on the song. Like, I'll say, like, when I'm playing guitar, I'll usually just, like, I'll have a feeling, and I'm looking for the feeling through chords. And once I find the right chords, then I'll start making up, like, the hook and the words. I always usually try to start with the hook because I feel like that's the main feeling of the song and that's what it goes back to. Um, sometimes it's just random, like, even with raps, like, I'll just come up with a rap before I'll have a beat, and then one day I'll hear a beat and be like, this is where this was supposed to go. Gotcha. Well, we're recording this live here at the Jinx, and I know that you host a show here every Tuesday. Is that correct? Yeah, I host Hip Hop Night at the Jinx. Been doing it for 12 years now, uh, off and on. It's been an experience. Just, it's been a lot of good fun and just really seeing a lot of hip hop in Savannah. And what other musicians do you follow in this town? Where do you, uh, where do you like to play? Who do you like to go listen to when you do get a chance? Because it sounds like you're working like all the time. So where do you get to, uh, where do you go to listen at? Um, I like going to a lot of the open mics. I'm usually here at the Jinx. Oops, sorry. I'm, sorry. Okay. I'm usually here at the Jinx just because um, it's the one spot where I get to see a lot of the local acts that I like just go all out. Yeah. Like, um, right now, I'm really focusing more on the local hip hop acts. Yeah. Because and this I've building's always, got a great sound, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll follow like the South Indies, I'll follow Clay, uh, Clay Hodges, um, the Indigos, uh, it's like uh, you got uh, Deep Donation, it's a good amount of people doing work around here I got and you. different crews, so it's fun watching them, uh, there's another group called Scythe, um, like, I, I could go on and on. Like Well, so besides tonight's show that you have going on, uh, tell us about some of your upcoming gigs and where you'll be playing. Um, I'll be playing, actually, January 6th. My band is playing. Um, they, we're having, like, a soul revival this show. This is Ambrose, right? Yeah, this is okay. Ambrose. We're going to be performing at El Rocco with uh, DJ Doc Ock, and it's going to be kind of a Soul Train themed night where trying to get people really into it. We're probably going to do more just funk and just have fun with it. And well, it sounds like fun. Nice dressy night. Um, you can find me and, and every Tuesday here. Sundays I'm at Boomies doing like old school hip hop and R&B. Um, and then you'll literally, I get booked all over the place. You'll see me sometimes at Social Club. Sometimes you'll see me at El Rocco or a Totally Awesome Bar or even Abe's. Well, who are the members of Ambrose? Because I, you know, I, you know, my buddy Jim Schaefer. Of course, he played in there, and uh, yeah. Derek played too. He played the drums there for a while, every once in a while. So, who are the current members of uh, Ambrose? Uh, Derek, Derek Burgess. He's still the drummer. Is he still the drummer? Okay. He's still our drummer. Okay. He's still our drummer. Um, Greg Reddick plays bass and guitar and whatever we need because he does his thing. And uh, newly rung in member uh, Philip Reynolds Price. So he's gonna be on keys. Um, we're just getting him in, so. I got you, okay. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. We just did a show a couple of weeks ago at the Lucas, opening up for the New Breed Brass Band. It was a fundraiser for the Savannah Children's Choir. It was really fun, so. And where can people find your music at? Because they're gonna be wanting, um, they're gonna be looking for your songs. Now, my, everything that I've done up until now, you can find on dopesandwich.com. Um, if not there, you'll be able to find it on basically.bandcamp.com, and then my band Ambrose has ambrosetheband.bandcamp.com. Well, but enough. yeah, um, the newer stuff will be coming out under uh, Drop Records, so I'll keep y'all up to date on that. And the new the new project, the, the name of the new project? The newer project, that's the newest project that's out right now is called Crazy Shit. The first album you talked about, which was a bunch of crazy shit. Gotcha. And then there was another one dropped a couple of years later called Another Bunch of Crazy Shit, which led to this one that is a way more serious project called Crazy Shit. And uh, it has a video out for it called Time of Grace that uh, was shot by Dope Knife. And 
Sounds like it's, it'd be a good movie title too. <laughs> well, thank you. It was just a really, it, it's a collective of songs that I've done over the years that I, at times just might have put away or just was like, eh, maybe that's not the right time for it. And I, like honestly, Dope Knife pushed me to be like, gotcha. come on, man, let's do one more. And this came out like he I gave him the songs, let him take it in his hands, and we put this project together. And I'm really no, I've proud. Only, of I've that. only seen him perform once, and that was at uh, Zinzi's Two that y'all yeah. performed on a New Year's yeah. Eve, as a matter of fact. Yeah. All right. So tell me about how you moved from Dope Sandwich to where we're at now, Time of Grace. Oh no, Time of Grace is the song. That was the last song I did with dope, with uh on the last project for Dope Sandwich. Time might seem like it's coming to a stop, but to me it's a dream. We're just waiting for the buzzer on the clock. It's a time of grace to find the greatness within. A time and space to finally face this prison. We'll find a place to find the state we're living. No time to waste, it's time to make it happen. It's a time of grace to find the greatness within. A time and space to finally face this prison. We'll find a place to find the state we're living. No time to waste, it's time to make you gotta keep it moving, trying not to get caught in illusion and losing the views that been fed to me. And then using those rules in my weapon ring as my tools and I choose to get lessons free. And why the closing of Dope Sandwich? Well, I just, it was creative differences that I really wasn't in agreement with. And I felt like I needed to step, step away. It was like nothing against Dope Sandwich or anything. Uh, all the members over the years, we've done incredible things, and they're all over the place now, like Cali and New York and Milwaukee, Chicago. And we still, I still got love for everybody. It's just wanted to try something different for myself. I got you. I got you. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to anybody before we say goodbye? Well, I want to thank everybody who's ever like listened and followed to my music, and I appreciate all the love. Uh, trust me, there's going to be a lot more coming. I am so eager to let people hear these next couple of projects. Uh, the first one coming is going to be called Seven. Um, should be coming out within the next couple of months. After that, I'll be dropping. We're aiming for two albums with the band. Gotcha. Uh, we want to do one album where it's mainly me singing and one album where it's mainly me rapping. Gotcha. Not sure if we're going to drop them both well, at the same I've time you, or whatever. I've heard you but. sing and I've heard you rap and you can do both very well. But thank you, sir. Well, Steve, I'd like to thank you for being on our show and taking the time to come to talk to us. Thank you for having me. Okay.